I'll give you a brief rundown who I am, what we do. Cool. Live. What's up, Ralton? John Van Straiten. 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 Rosales, appreciate all the likes, man. Get in class, man. I really want to see you in class. Everybody, you can join class with us. The link's in the bio. Okay, I, that's what I thought. I needed to update something here. Stop broadcast. Finish. One. What's up, people? Lots of people joining. Appreciate that. Uh, Dang. Okay, I gotta check the password. One one second, guys. Okay. Let's, I got all sorts of things backwards on it. What's up, TikTokers? We're gonna start in a second. I just gotta set up this Instagram live right here. Settings. Green key. No thanks. No thanks. I'll go live. Yes. Got it. Okay. All right. Welcome everybody to the stream. This is a special thing going on here. I'm Yogi Chris from IMC Nation. How's AZD doing, brother? Been a while since I've seen his content. Uh, what do you mean? I mean, what, what does that mean? You're on TikTok, so there's a bunch of content there. He teaches class once or twice a day, every day. He just finished class. It's called AZD's Mastermind University. The link is in the bio for the account. And, uh, you know, what do you want me to say? Eight girlfriends plus other girls, multiple, multiple businesses, multiple properties, but lives very humble like a monk. No beds in our whole, no furniture except a beanbag chair and, and two computer chairs and a couple shelves for books. So live very, hum very humbly. And it's, I used to watch his content all the time, but that was a couple years ago. Why'd you stop, bro? Sam, it had to be more than a couple years ago unless it was just, ACD is a certified OG, no doubt about it. Why'd you stop, bro? Dang. You want to come live? You want to stream? Just do some FaceTime, face-to-face. -face. I'd love to hear you about your experience and why you left. Where, where'd you go? What'd you do? You know, I'm going to have so many questions for you. The typing back and forth will be impractical because there's a lag. Invite David Chitno. I mean, I can invite Sammy. Are you allowed to... Am I... How, how do I invite such a person? I don't know. Maybe do you request it or how do I do that? Number of guests. Do I plus you somehow? Anybody know how to do this? Guests. Yes. Yeah. So if I add guests, and I'll say Sammy. I'll invite you now if you want to talk for a second. Okay, any comments over here? You guys are free to open up for com comments. I mean, obviously, if you can comment, then I recommend it. I'm driving right now. Can't talk on stream. I'm listening in. Okay, well, very interesting. I don't know why anybody would stop studying AZD unless you got married or your relationship, the girl you're with, did had a problem with you studying this stuff. Occasionally, somebody just has no money, but then I – or they run out of money because obviously they had money to sign up. Or, uh, you know, so people fall in hard times, but not for years. Maybe you drop off for a month or two or whatever. 
uh, you know, sometimes there's like legal battle or whatever. I get it. So we've had one guy who was actually fighting pedophiles. He went to prison and, you know, so, okay, whatever. Extenuating circumstances. I don't know what just a person would justify. Obviously you really liked it. He's certified OG, you know, I'm sure it helped you in a lot of ways. And I don't remember seeing you on any of the programs. I've been around for about four or five years uh, on the streams. Like you would, well, longer, seven years Way back when he was doing Saturday Night Live lectures, I was on those. And probably Chris DeVilvis or Yogi Chris, whatever I'd, my name was there. So I don't know, but I remember people from at least four years ago from the No Fucks Given podcast, four or five years ago. Because that's when I started pulling people in to do advanced trainings. And so for the last four or five years, there's been this these two lines of teaching happening, the daily classes and the advanced teachings. And that's a lot of, that's a lot of teaching. That's four or five years of almost every day. I mean, 60 hours a month of teaching, just straight teaching. So over man. And a lot of guys have stuck it through. A lot of guys dropped off. New guys have come on and whatever, but there have been dozen, maybe two dozen individuals that really stuck it through for the last four or five years and attended everything. And that's a lot of education and they would not be sticking around myself included if it was like redundant or repeating itself or whatever. It's an ongoing evolution. So the person that dropped off is really even for a month, for a week, dude, if people miss a day, if they miss a lecture, they feel like they fell behind because there's a vibe that the people who've done the classes, who did the class, who was on the class, they just feel so elevated, so much more clarity, certainty. Their communication has come up just from hearing it for an hour, not just his lecture, but the back and forth, because in the back and forth, how you, when you hear someone respond, you get a lot of. You a lot of information about them, where they're coming from, you know, the sharpness, acuity, you know, awareness, just hearing somebody like if you heard a master salesman talk to somebody, especially about the subject that he's selling, then you would hear the sharpness and the awareness about the subject. And then if you hear a master relationship expert talk to men about relationships, either with their wives, their girlfriends, their daughters, their business associates, their clients, whatever. The way he asks questions, the way he gives advice, the way he, you know, whatever, just whatever he does. It's really top of the planet. And so you might say, Sam E., who is commenting over here, you studied years ago. He's like, he's certified OG. Man, why'd you stop? Because you've just been falling behind, behind, behind. You know, and then you don't want to go live because you're driving, but you had the ability to type messages while you were driving. So I wonder if it's really driving that's preventing you from going live right now. You know, I'd ask you the hard questions. And you'd have to answer and it would not be, it, it would be something else. It'd be, you got rubbed the wrong way by something he said. You got intimidated or afraid by demonology or alpha beta behavior, or Jesus and talking about it or something, you know, because that's best of the planet of a subject that men everywhere, men have become so weak. We're even Tiger Woods. We're even Kobe Bryant. We're even... I mean, Bill Clinton, like these guys, they can't even tell the truth about being with other women. And then guys like Jeff Bezos and the billionaires of, uh, you know, what's his name? Bill Gates. They can't even keep their wife. They have so many billions of dollars. It doesn't even, it's hard to fathom. Like they're just numbers to us. Like, how would you even spend that? Like if you, if you were a millionaire, it would be a fraction of a penny to them if they were a billionaire and they can't even keep their wives. Men are so weak. You're measuring the wrong things if you think the athlete or the rich guy is able to keep it. And then the rock star or the rap artist who has a bunch of hoes around him doesn't have deep, meaningful connections where he can relate with the girl. It's not like I'm seeking or AZD seeks deep, meaningful connections, but it is the substrate of quality relationships with it, which is the substrate of a quality life. It's the soil. It's not just about chasing women or getting with women. That's not, it's not even an ingredient in it. It's quality relationships. The women serve their purpose in your life, broadcasting to the world, showcasing, being a billboard of your savvy, of your masculinity, of so many, whatever qualities makes a beautiful woman attracted and attached to and admire a man. She is a broadcasting for that just by her presence being there. And there's got to be some reason that you're keeping her around and it can't just be her vagina. And if you're a real man, you have multiple women, then it's, it's definitely, man, then you have options. So there's something about her. 
but that's going to be reflected how you can get through because women are so bad at communicating. They're so indirect. They don't know what they're saying. They'll, they'll say something and then they'll say the exact opposite because they're not saying what they're vo- verbally saying. There's something they're trying to say that their words are not getting across and they're getting misunderstood left and right, up and down, their parents, their kids, any guy they're trying to talk to doesn't understand that she's, they understand what I'm saying right now. Like she's so indirect and she's not saying what she means. And they agree with that probably, but then they don't know how to really hear her, what she's really meaning and saying. You have to have an awareness of her psychology, of her genetics, of your psychology and genetics, of communication as a science and an art, a sense of aesthetics so that you know how to communicate. You might get all of the things I said before that, but if you don't have a sense of aesthetics, then you're not going to know how to talk to her in a way that doesn't agitate her. And her at some point, you're going to rub her the wrong way because you don't. And that's fine. You could be alpha and she has to obey and whatever. But if you're not trumping her with a bunch of force or just a ton of resources, like a, a Shah from like the Middle East or something, then it's going to be your finesse. That's your social awareness. And that's a value. If you know how to finesse her, then you know how to finesse the world. If you know how to finesse eight of her, like AZD, and they're all super fine, they all have lots of options, and you can finesse them all at the same time, then yes, that's a broadcast, that's a billboard of your value. But also, you got some real value. That's some real value to be able to do that. And that's going to obviously spill over into other interactions, business, sales, guy to guy relationships, teacher, student, teaches martial arts, you know, it's one of the many businesses. So it's a very integrated lifestyle, integrated philosophy. It's not the pickup arts that is two-faced that I'm over here with some gambits that through trial and error or through somebody teaching me, this works with you. If you use imagination, imagine a cube, this and that, or over the shoulder, that makes sense. That's some real psychology. But then quick question, flossing or brushing first. Okay. Use it if you must. But if you're stacking your whole routine and it's all fake from beginning to end, last minute resistance, all these lockout, freeze out routines and whatever for how a guy can have sex with a new girl, you're using alcohol and liquor to get girls and no girl sticks around very much, then man, you actually don't have real value. You have to fake it the whole way just to trick a girl into sleeping with you, which is great. Learn the skill, man. I mean, I got with a lot of girls, but then you got to transition and, and, You know, just transmute, transcend that. You got to transcend that. Well, anyway, you don't have to, but that's what that's you'll never get to where AZD is. You'll never get where the top guys are in IMC. That multiple relationships is a fact. It's a inevitability and it's effortless. Because we only go for women that go for us. We only go for women that are looking up to us, that obey, that are intelligent enough to fend off their world. We think you, you when somebody says obey, it's like. Well, what are they mindless? They're slaves, they're so low insecurity and whatever. And it's like, bro, you think it's easy for her and her world with her family and friends and whatever she's got going on to like get agreement on that? And if she doesn't have any family or friends, I mean, she's got coworkers and shit. And if she doesn't have that, then what are you taking care of the woman for? Just because she's a beauty? I mean, at some point, it's just a liability. She can't even step out of the house. She has to know how to handle her world. That takes intelligence, courage, a certain level of strength as a female. And how to wield my strength. So the sword may be able to do more damage than her fists can. But she needs to have the courage, the strength, and the intelligence to wield the sword. Or it's going to cut her. If you're going to drop it, it's going to be a liability. So if she's wielding my power, my confidence, my awareness when she goes out and repels the world for loyalty and dedication. Well, she's got to be intelligent. She's not just a bimbo. So when I say she's obedient, she's got the same qualities I have when I'm obedient of whatever I decide to be obedient to because I'm not a slave. And then to have multiple women like that and effortless where my life isn't about keeping the woman, the woman stays to her own benefit. My life is about making my life so valuable that men and women want to align with it. That's why I have aligned with AZD because what he taught was so valuable, so valuable and other men can't teach it. Not hypnotica, not mystery, not Vince Kelvin, not coach whoever is whoever on Instagram, TikTok has a million followers and they suck. They suck. Super beta. And you guys probably, some of you on TikTok or whatever, probably paying them, let alone watching them. Pathetic. What are you doing? $97 to study with AZD. It'll change your life. 
Hey, I need advice for when you just meet a girl you really like and you guys just started talking. You need advice about a lot of things. It's not just about that. Your life needs to be much more interesting than her, than how she is interesting to you. But if you'd like to go live, then I would even go live with you and talk about it. Because I'm sure everybody on TikTok is uh, interested. Now, just be ready for me to ask you questions. And you got to answer them. It's I don't want to hear too much of a sob story unless it's related to my question. But if it's related to my question, then go ahead and say you want to go live and I'll send you an invite. And I'll answer your questions. And I have about 10 minutes, 9 or 10 minutes remaining. Two new messages. I don't know if that's a comment or that's not a comment. That's not a comment. Rosales, you're really all about liking it, man. But, you know, sign up for the program is what I want you to do. So you could like it all day. But what I really want is you to join the program. My life is more interesting, but I really like, yes. So if you want to talk about it, I'll ask you some questions through my training with AZD and, you know, we'll get to some results, but, you know, let me know that you want to go live. I don't want to keep reading the messages about it and you have to be willing to answer questions, honestly. Well, I mean, you can answer any way you want, but it won't solve it if you're not honest. Okay. So we got a minute here. Let's see if there's any comments on this side of the stream. No. Okay. Okay, we're about to maybe get some live action going. Brother, if you want, you, you were commenting, so just say that, yeah, you can go live and I'll talk with you. If anybody over here wants to go live. I think I've said mostly my piece, you know, AZD on class just a moment ago, like about 30 minutes ago, just so many demonstrations of why he is the best. So many showing the social media, the personal photos, the this and that. I was with him last night when he sees one. I can't go live at the moment, but I can text chat. That's just what the other guy said. I don't know. I don't know why, but you know, what advice do you need about a girl that you just met that you really like? If you can make that as succinct as possible, and then be ready for me to talk like fucking five minutes about it. So try to pre-handle all of my objections to what you're about to say, man. Because guys, they're seeking a relationship too much. You shouldn't seek a relationship. But I know that's next to impossible to do if you haven't forgiven your mom and dad for raising you so beta and really forgiven them. And you, that's, that's going to take a lot. And having so much going for you in your life that the woman just isn't that important. Once we get to a lot of agreement about those sort of things, how can I make her mind, make her fall in love with me and want to be with me? Be so much value for her and be so aesthetic. Remember, aesthetics is part of value. Like I said, Jeff Bezos, Bill Gates lost their wives. They were billionaires. So it's it's not just the value of her life, like giving her a place to live, feeding her, getting her everything she wants. It's obviously not that. You get it? So it's in your, the aesthetics of your beingness, which is we could call your character. So you need to improve your character to the point. She needs to look up to your character so much. How can I be valued for her and make her stay interested? It's your character. So what is the qualities of the character? Or what, what would you ask about that? What kind of character? It needs to be, yeah, alpha, but aware, witty, aesthetic, which means beautiful, but not like your skin is beautiful. There's a beauty in like the way there's a beauty in a hero. There's a beauty in... The, the way the man played basketball, the way the man shot the gun or the way the man did whatever he did. He did the way his living was aesthetic and beautiful. How do you do that? That's like art. That's what AZD teaches. That's where you get why I'm confident, why I can speak in a way that's aesthetic. To some degree, it's aesthetic. It's like not bad to listen to me. I know what other guys, they're all monotone. They, man, mono volume, mono, mono, mono. They're, that, that's why they're monogamous. <laughs> that is, makes sense. So... The answer is sign up and study, right? Sign up and study. There's hundreds of videos here for free that you can watch on the clips on TikTok. We also have YouTube. But at the end of the day, I mean, join the morning class. It's the beginner class. And you get hundreds of, and it's all AZD teaching. And just study those religiously. Make it your new religion if you want, because you're worshiping something else anyway. And it's not God. You're worshiping the woman. I like like I have all my shit together, work and everything. She's still in college. She's still... So then if you got everything together, then join the class. Because then it's not, 
think because of that. Right. So you got everything together except you overthink. And you're seeking the woman too much. Now, the answer is when you stop seeking the woman so much, you'll get the woman. But you're going to drive yourself crazy if you just by force of will try to stop seeking the woman. You got to change something internally. It's not going to be through drugs or through alcohol or through coffee or through work. It doesn't change you inside. You need to interchange. Rosales, man, 2,000 likes later, you still got to sign up for the class, though. You know, there just ain't no substitute to showing up to class. How do you not seek a woman so much when you're interested in her? Well, then the question is, what are you so interested about in her? What's so great about her? It's just her pussy and her body and her softness. Because anything else would be more interesting than your life. And you said your life was so interesting. Your job was so interesting. So you got to face that you don't have enough options in your life and you're starving for vagina and pussy and, and softness. And that's why you like her so much. So then you got to become the kind of man that's well nourished on women. But then how do you do that? Well, that's the aesthetics of your life because it's easy enough for a man of his life put together to get one woman. May not be the woman of your dreams, but you could get one woman, but now get two women. They're not going to agree. You'll have to lie. Get three women. You'll have to lie because they won't agree with you doing that. Or there'll be very low value women smutting their pussy around just like loose. So if you want quality women, multiple women, then you got to come to class. <laughs> you know, uh, sorry, $97. You got your life together. $97. It's worth the gamble. If I'm wrong, then I'm sure you've wasted $97 on more worthless shit. And that's from my heart, brother, because if you got the resource, you got your life together. I definitely don't want men out there suffering, but I paid for it. I paid for a lot of worse shit. I got over a hundred thousand plus dollar education. I'm a PhD. Worthless. If I'd started this sooner, I'd be a lot further along. So sign up for class. I recommend. Okay, everybody. Thank you for attending. I don't see any other comments coming in. You know, whenever you catch this, then, you know, let's go live. But I, I recommend just be on the class. As soon as you sign up for class, you get the login, you get hundreds of recordings, you get an email every day with the link to show up to class at 10 a.m. Pacific every day. And you schedule on the calendar a 15 minute Zoom call with me that I can ask you more questions and really get to know what you're trying to achieve with the class. And I can tell you what I would recommend, your best course of study. But my problem is once I get what I want, I lose interest. Welcome to the club, bro. How are you going to solve that? Join class, man. Get on the orientation call. Join class. The link's in the bio. J Guru Dev, praise the Lord, everybody. Os, TK.